You know, if you met me in 2017, you would not have been impressed. You'd have seen probably a very depressed college kid who didn't know where he wanted to go in life. And you know, I was studying in architecture at the time, not really because I liked architecture or anything, but really because I didn't see any job out there that I, that I really wanted to have, basically. There was no career that sounded interesting to me and I really resigned into architecture because it seemed like the least bad option. Maybe you can feel me there. Maybe you are in a similar situation. I'm just gonna share something with you today because the way I left this state of being unfulfilled and this state of not knowing where I want to go in life and resigning to uh, a career that I didn't want, the way I went from that to actually starting my online business and starting to work as a web developer online was really because I stumbled on YouTube videos by a channel named Improvement Pill, which was pretty much my first steps into the world of self-development and the world of positive thinking, the world of having a mindset that actually leads to success instead of leading to being sad, being depressed and not being fulfilled. So from Improvement Pill videos on YouTube, I really, really decided to dig into self-development and start taking control of my life, start improving in small ways that really ended up giving me a huge advantage in all the spheres of my life. And through this, these steps, I ended up stumbling upon online courses, which led me to have my career. But online courses, I didn't only watch online courses to learn my trade of web development. I also found online courses that were much more deeply life-changing, which were the mindset online courses. So today I'm going to share with you the most life-changing courses that I've watched so far when it comes to mindset and actually thinking in ways that make me more successful. I hope you find some of these useful. They will cover subjects such as how to stop procrastination and how to think bigger to achieve bigger goals and much more. So if you're interested in any of them, I'll put links in the description down below so you'll be, you'll be able to check them out. Without further ado, let's get started. So first on the list is Mel Robbins' amazing course called How to Break the Habit of self-doubt and build real confidence. You've probably been there. I remember many times in high school where I was just sitting uh, at a table in the library, in the cafeteria, in whatever, and there was a girl like sitting probably two or three meters away. She was fucking cute and I, I found her really attractive. And many times uh, I was thinking to myself, maybe I should go talk to her, you know? Maybe I should just go get up and try to probably meet her and maybe she's gonna be my future girlfriend. But the truth is that many times when I actually uh, started thinking about getting up and actually talking to her, I started hesitating, I started thinking, well, uh, what if I say something really stupid? What if she laughs at me? What if it doesn't work? I'm gonna look like a fucking idiot. So instead of actually just getting up and talking to her, uh, I started making up all these excuses, started doubting myself, and most of the time, I ended up not talking to them at all. You see, uh, this had severe rep repercussions. I spent three years in college without a girlfriend and without sex. This is ridiculous. You see my face. I, I, I believe I'm not bad looking of a guy. You gotta believe me. I did not have sex for like three years in college. And this was really because I couldn't find, not the courage, but I couldn't overcome self-doubt and all these excuses. So I end up just staying uh, on that chair, whatever, even though I had pretty good self-confidence. And really, that's the power of self-doubt. If you let self-doubt overcome you, not only will your love life probably suffer, but also all other spheres of your life. When it comes to business, when it comes to my career, there are many times when I had great business ideas. You probably had a thousand ideas. You probably thought of Uber before Uber existed, maybe, but you probably never started building your Uber business because self-doubt and not thinking that your ideas are realistic oftentimes 
that doubt is more powerful than your desire and to actually do the things you want in life. Uh, if you're struggling with this, I highly recommend you check out Mel Robbins' course on self-doubt. She's going to tell you how to overcome it and, and actually act. Uh, you know, we all have that habit of hesitating before doing the things that really would impact our life. And this course teaches you exactly how to stop hesitating. And when you get a good idea, as soon as you get a fucking good idea, you execute. And instead of wasting time, Time thinking about whether or not is good, you're gonna actually do things and move towards your goals. And not only is that gonna be good for uh, your self confidence, because you're actually going to accomplish things that will uh, improve your life, and you're gonna do your dreams, make them come true. You're also going to stop procrastinating because oftentimes procrastination is a side effect of self-doubt. Procrastination is not the cause, it's the effect of self-doubt. If you don't doubt, if you don't hesitate, you don't procrastinate. The reason you're procrastinating often is because you don't believe in what you do, you doubt in your ability to make things right, and so your brain tries to delay the moment where it feels it's going to fail at something that is important. So break self-doubt, break procrastination at the same time, and it's really, this course is really fucking amazing. You'll find a link in the description if you're interested. So now number two. Here's a really interesting quote from Robert Kiyosaki. It's not the words that come out of your mouth that determine your life. It's the word that you whisper to yourself that have the most power. You know, I used to worry about a lot of things that didn't matter. I used to worry about what I'm gonna eat, eat for dinner. I used to worry about what I'm gonna wear. I used to worry about who I should invite to my next uh, evening with friends. I used to worry about uh, whether or not I'm gonna be late in my exam. I'm gonna, I used to worry about a lot of shit in the end, even if the worst thing that could have happened actually happened, uh, my life would have been just as good. My life wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have lost much even if it went bad. You know, if you fuck up your decision, what, you, what you're gonna eat tonight, well, maybe you're not gonna like your dinner, but you're still going to live. You're still gonna probably eat it even though it's not that good. Or worst case scenario, you're gonna buy something at the restaurant that's gonna cost you $20 and you're gonna be set. You know, many of the time, most of the time when you start worrying about these things, you're just wasting mental energy. You're just wasting mental energy and fucking stressing yourself for nothing. And you know, your brain doesn't see the difference if you're worrying about what you're gonna eat for dinner, whether or not you have the right uh, vacuum cleaner. Your brain doesn't see the difference whether or not you want to find the answer to what's the best type of vacuum cleaner for your situation or whether or not you're trying to find how you can actually cut your hours and work less and gain more money. If you start putting all your fucking mental energy on the vacuum cleaner, it's not gonna be life-changing. The best thing that can happen out of it is probably a 1% increase to your life by having a cleaner room. But to be honest, if you really find a way to cut one hour every day of your workday and still make as much money, this is one extra hour every day, this is life-changing. So in Tim Ferriss's course, How Billionaires, Icons, and World-Class Performers, he actually teaches you how to focus on the things that matter and what kind of questions you should ask yourself if you really want to use your brain power in order to create changes that are really life-changing and not waste your brain power on what type of vacuum cleaner you want to purchase. This course teaches you what kind of questions you need to ask yourself if you want to be successful. It, it includes questions such as, if I were to work only two hours per day, if I could only work two hours per day, what would I do? Why can't I achieve my 10 year plan in the next six months? What can I have other people do so that I don't have to do it myself? Even if I were to fail in this project, 
how could I make it worth it? You can probably see by the type of questions that I'm talking here, it's not something that you can, that the human mind naturally thinks about. It's actually counterintuitive to think in that way, but you can probably see just by hearing me talk about these questions that if you ask yourself these questions, your brain is bound to come up with answers that really will be more useful than if you ask your brain, come up with an answer which with what's the best thing I could cook tonight. Why can't I achieve my 10 year plan in the next six months? Well, if you don't find an answer on why, uh, you'll probably realize that you can achieve your 10 year plan in the next six months. And even if you find reasons, maybe these reasons you'll realize that they're not big enough and they're not actually barriers that you cannot climb and you'll actually achieve your dreams faster. You know, we all have these barriers in our minds that, uh, you know, subconsciously we think we can't accomplish, but asking questions such as these is not only going to make you realize that these barriers are not rational, but also give you answers on as to how you can actually achieve your dream. And the more you're clear in your mind about how you can achieve your dreams, the easier it's going to be to actually take action. You should absolutely go check out this course. It is absolutely amazing. I have in fact watched it twice in a row when I got it and I'm now at my fourth viewing uh, and I just watched it something like six months ago. In six months, I've watched it four times. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, links in the description. You should absolutely check it out if you want to fix your thinking and you want to build an amazing business. This is one of the best courses out there, regardless of what kind of business you want to build. So before we get to the last course on the list, here are a few honorable mentions, which are not exactly mindset courses, but that I think are going to be very good for your mindset and are really going to give you a ton of value. First of all is learn to sell anything by Grant Cardone. Probably you're, you're maybe like me for a while. I've struggled with shiny object syndrome. I've been involved in many small businesses in over the years, many projects. I've started drop shipping. I've started MLM. I've started this channel. I've started a free freelancing career, many more. And it seems every two months I realize, oh, there's this out there that looks even better. Maybe I should try that out. Oh, there's this, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this. And after six months, you've started like four businesses and you've dropped three of them and you went absolutely nowhere. You've worked on many things. And since you don't focus on one thing, you never dig deep enough to actually drill oil. Guys, if you struggle with this, you struggle with commitment and actually focusing on one thing, learn to sell anything Grant Cardone by Grant Cardone is for you. This is a course on selling, but it also has a very powerful mindset section that focuses on making you realize the value of commitment and how to actually stick to your decisions and go to the end and stop trying to see all the opportunities out there and actually focus on one digging spot long enough to actually dig your fucking diamonds. Second honorable mention is Unlock It by Dan Lok. This is Dan Lok's new book. It's absolutely amazing. Look, I know it's a book. It's not a course. I know, but hear me out. It's absolutely fucking amazing. This is one of the best materials for mindset that I've read and encountered this year. Dan Lok's new book actually has a very unique premise. It's a book that uh, teaches you um, why you have not been successful yet and how to actually fix the thing that you're doing wrong. For example, for me, um, I've struggled with shiny object syndrome, as I said, and this course, it's a book that's written for everyone who has tried to build the business or has wanted to build a business for a long time and has not done it. It's going to tell you exactly why you haven't built your business yet, why you haven't yet taken action towards your goal and actually how to take your first step. Or if you have started your business, it's going to tell you why you're not successful yet and what are the mental chains, what's 
stopping you in, in your subconscious from actually getting the gold you want to get to actually get the money and accomplish your goals. It's going to point out every mistake you might be making as a beginner, everything that comes out from your middle class background, everything your parents taught you, for example, that rich are crooks and probably you don't want to be a crook. So you don't, so your subconscious doesn't want you to be rich because your subconscious things that rich are crook and crooks are bad. So you don't want to see yourself as bad. So you don't want to be a rich man because riches are crooks and so bad men. There are many things that your middle class backgrounds are probably stopping you from achieving your wealth success. Uh, if you want to see some of them, um, I, I'd say there's a lot of material in this book that will help you either from your middle class background or for all your uh, or for all your misconceptions or and it's gonna break all your misconceptions about wealth. Uh, this book is amazing. Absolutely get it. Links in the description for the Amazon page. Um, it will teach you how to unlock your path towards wealth and fulfillment. So our second honorable mention is Unlocked by Dan Lok. This is Dan Lok's new book and it's absolutely amazing. This is a book that is absolutely unique. It covers a subject that I haven't seen covered before. Maybe you're like me, uh, I've been trying to start businesses for over a year, a year and a half now and I'm not rich, I'm not a millionaire, I'm not successful by any means, I'm just starting out and this book teaches you exactly if you've been trying out for so long to be wealthy, why did you not succeed yet? Why are you still poor? Why are you still unsuccessful? even though you work hard, even though you've worked for a long time, even though you've tried for a long time, why did it not work? What makes it so your business hasn't worked out yet? And it's absolutely life-changing. I learned so much about how my subconscious uh, mind stopped me from actually, uh, how my misconceptions about wealth, how uh, my subconscious works has stopped me from becoming a wealthy, successful man that really, uh, I'm really starting to see the path of wealth before me unlocking as I'm learning all these concepts. I've struggled a lot less with procrastination. I've struggled a lot less with confidence in the last two weeks since I've started reading this book. It's absolutely amazing. You should check it out. Links in the description uh, for the Amazon page. I hope you find it as life-changing as I do. If you started your business and you uh, wonder why you've not been successful yet and you wonder why you're not being as productive as you feel you should uh, get, get it. It's, it's amazing. Now let's get to our last entry on the list. Learning Machine 2.0 by Brandon Hakim. This, I've talked about this course many times on this channel. It's absolutely the most life-changing course I've ever watched. This is my favorite course of all time. Uh, Brandon Hakim is an amazing teacher. This course is peculiar. This course teaches you how to learn. This is weird because the thing is that you never think about, do I learn in the wrong manner? But think about high school. How much do you remember about your history lessons? Probably not much. You probably don't remember much about what you learned about history. However, you still spent like five years learning about what's the history of your country and what do you remember about this? Probably nothing. The truth is that the way we learn in school by memorizing doesn't work when it comes to long-term memory. You don't remember much. And over that, the worst offender in school's way of learning is that you waste a fucking ton of time. With online learning, I've managed to, with this course, this course teaches you a framework on how to learn things quicker and become a world-class performer in the least amount of time. Becoming a programmer normally takes three years of college. I managed to do it as a self-taught developer in six months by using this course's strategies and by using online courses. The thing is, is that school wastes so much of your time. You're, imagine you're, you want to become a fiction writer. Why are you spending five years learning math? Seriously, why? Do you need math? Do you need trigonometry to to write fiction books about elves and dwarves and magic and fireballs and whatever? You don't. You don't. And school still forces you to learn all these complex math um, math 
problems and there, you know, if you just focus on what you need, especially when it comes to college level, you're gonna save a ton of time. Not only that, in school, I was always gifted. And as a very bright guy, I often understood concepts the first time they were explained. But there's always a stupid boy in your class that's like, oh, I didn't understand, can you repeat please? Or someone that doesn't listen to the teacher and is like, oh, well, uh, I didn't get it. Could you explain it again? And you're forced to listen to your teacher explain the same thing twice, thrice, four times, five times, and over and over and over and over again because, because there's a fucking idiot in your class that either doesn't listen or is just too fucking dumb to follow your rhythm. And since you're not following your own rhythm, you're wasting a lot of time learning nothing, basically. So Learning Machine teaches you how you can use the power of learning on your own and the power of, yeah, not learning in school, basically, to save a ton of time and get the career you want as fast as possible. And I'm talking about this course not only because it's good for saving time, it, by teaching you how to be ex effective and how to ignore all the things that don't matter in learning, it also teaches you how to focus on the things that matter and remove all that doesn't matter in all the other spheres of your life. If you learn to ignore what doesn't matter in learning, you're going to learn to ignore what doesn't matter in everything you do. If you, this course teaches you how to view your tasks as things that need to be completed. View your tasks as things that need to be completed and that the only thing that matters is the end result. So the length of time between you starting to learn or starting a project and ending it should be as short as possible because the only thing that matters is the end result. So the best thing you can do is have the end result in the least possible time. So this course teaches you how to break down your tasks and see things in a way that your mind tries to do everything in the most effective and less time costly manner possible. This does not stop at learning. If you get this mentality, you're going to keep it with you no matter what you're trying to accomplish. And for, and for me, it's been absolutely life changing. This no bullshit approach, I've taken it to everything I do and I still use it today. If you're interested, click on the link in the description. It's absolutely amazing. So that's it for today. I hope you found a course that interests you. If there's a course you want me to review, I'd like you to write it in the comments down below. I'll be very happy to take a look. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.